Hello everyone and welcome to workshop 2 of BIL 202 Inductive Bible Study. This is some guidance for you to make it through workshop 2 and get everything that you can out of it. So I hope that it's help you, helpful for you as you navigate through our activities in this particular workshop. As I mentioned last week, uh, each of the workshops in this course is de designed to kind of dovetail with one another so that what you do in a previous workshop kind of leads into the next workshop and so on and so forth throughout the class. So, in the very first activity that we're going to be doing in Workshop 2 is a follow-up to that paper that you wrote at the end of Workshop 1 on your starting point with Scripture. Uh, that kind of, that first assignment gives you a chance to sort of think about where you are at in terms of your reading of Scripture and your understanding of Scripture is. In this particular discussion board, we're going to ask you to read a little bit and grasping God's Word about the inspiration of Scripture and the role of the Holy Spirit in interpreting Scripture and bring that together with your starting point from the previous paper. So this discussion board will really focus on how you understand the role of the Spirit, both in the original inspiration of Scripture and in its interpretation now, as well as how you understand Scripture to be reliable and authoritative. So we'll kind of be talking about those issues in this particular discussion. And maybe keep these in mind or take some notes on them because in workshop six you're going to write a final paper on how you understand scripture and its, in, in, and its inspiration. So this discussion board and that initial paper might give you some fodder for that, so keep that in mind. In workshop two, we start preparing you for book survey. Book survey is an exciting task because it's a way that we usually don't read books of scripture in churches or Bible studies to really get a grasp of a whole book and what's going on in it. But for that reason, it's also a little bit challenging to wrap our minds around a whole book. Now, for this particular class, we're just using 1 Peter, which is only five chapters, and Colossians, which is only four chapters. We're not going to throw something like 66 chapters of Isaiah at you at this point. So, not so much to digest, but it's still challenging to think about how a whole book goes together. You have, again, uh, the file on how to survey a book. There's the lecture that I've given you on the walking through a survey of 1 Peter that I've done. And then there's also the file of that survey if you want to go back and refer to it as well so that you have an example to base your own work off of. Now in workshop two here, we're just kind of getting our feet wet with book surveys. So uh, like we did with detailed observation in workshop one, we're just going to have a discussion board here. What you want to do is read through the file, listen to the lecture, and then post three questions or comments about the example survey of First Peter in the discussion board and also do a tentative outline of Colossians and make a good guess about one major structural relationship in the book. Again, we're just kind of getting you started into thinking about the book survey of Colossians which you'll then do in the next workshop. So this is just a, a way to help you get prepared for doing that book survey. 2.3 over here is our reading quiz. You're going to be reading some material, uh, especially from Grasping God's Word on letters in the New Testament in this workshop, and then going over some of the material on book survey as well, so that'll be covered in your quiz. And then we come to 2.4, which is your first real serious IBS assignment, a detailed observation of Colossians 3, 1 through 4. Uh, this is an important passage in the book of Colossians, and so we're going to be focusing on it really throughout the rest of the class. You'll be doing an interpretation assignment and an application assignment as well. Again, you've done a little bit of preparation about how to do a detailed observation back in workshop one. We did a little bit of discussion about that. In this assignment, you're going to be doing your own detailed observation on Colossians 3, 1 through 4. You should go back and refer to the file on You Can't Interpret What You Don't See and the example on detailed observation on 1 Peter 2, 18 through 21 to give you some guidance and some pointers. You can use that example uh, on 1 Peter as kind of a template for your own work. You'll see some good pointers here under the instructions about how to do a detailed observation. So keep these things in mind. Set up the two columns. Keep your questions and observations lined up with one another describe the context, make all kinds of observations, ask all the kinds of questions in order, and remember that this is a detailed observation, so you want to be good and specific. Get down into the nitty-gritty there and tell me what's going on. Again, your first foray into really using the IBS method kind of give you a short passage to focus on and dig in with that. I hope that you feel the Spirit of God working along with you and speaking to you and guiding you as you're learning how to use this new tool uh, to dig into Scripture more deeply. And I pray that you hear that voice speaking to you in ways that are relevant both to this class and also to your lives and the context in which you minister. 
May God bless you this week as you continue your work, and I look forward to interacting with you online. Bye.